Hello and welcome to my first video in this channel Tecmo. So I want to show you how to disassemble and assemble and upgrade your Lenovo ThinkCenter M75Q Generation 2. It's a new device featuring a AMD Ryzen 5 4650G. And as you can see, the front has like a USB-C port, a USB 3 port, and the back you have several ports. You can check that in the website. You just have one screw here that you need to open. Very easy, very convenient. Um, you open that screw here and then the lid comes off very easily. So there are like two parts. There is a top part and a bottom part. The top part is where you have your SSD drive. It's not M2. Uh, it is a two point half this like traditional SSD or HDD um, hard drive. And then you have a fan and your CPU is also here. So here you don't need to open any screw, very convenient. As you can see, uh, the hard drive part comes out really easily. The one that I bought doesn't have a hard drive, like it does have a hard drive, but on the other side, and then the fan also comes easily. You don't need to unscrew anything. I really like it about Think Centers. Um, they're really well designed. Uh, so here I'm struggling a bit to bring it out. And after you bring it out, you see there is this CPU um, heatsink. Um, I'll try also to unscrew it. You need, there is like three screws here. Um, so I will talk a bit about the device. Uh, as I said, the device has an AMD Ryzen 5 Pro. Um, it, this is this new generation of Ryzen processors. Uh, they're really lovely. Um, they're really powerful. Uh, there are APUs, which means you, you don't need a GPU to run with them. Uh, the GPU is already integrated and the GPU is very nice. I mean, for daily tasks, you really don't need anything more. If you want to even run some games, uh, you can easily do it with um, these APUs. And the device that I bought comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD hard drive. That's why I'm gonna easily upgrade my hard drive. I'm putting another SSD drive there without removing the other one. And it has one USB. 3.1 generation 1 type C, 1 USB 3.5 generation 2, 2 USB 3.5 generation 1, and 2 USB 2 ports. Also, um, I usually connect my HDMI to my monitor. It also has another um, display port on the back. And uh, here I put the heatsink again. I believe you cannot change the CPU. I've read the Lenovo official guideline. Uh, also, these kind of CPUs are kind of designed for just OEMs, which means you cannot buy them outside. Um, they are designed and sold to manufacturers. So it's really hard and expensive to find one. Also, I would like to talk about the pricing of the device. It's really fair pricing, in my opinion. Uh, I bought it about 600 euro. Which is good. I mean, considering you you get a really nice package, a small 1.3 kilogram, and then at the same time you get your Windows Pro on it. You get a Ryzen 5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, SSD, a nice fan, a nice box, and it's sync pad quality. Also, three years of warranty in Europe. I think it's really fair pricing. So here I also bought a SSD. If you go to the official guideline of Lenovo, it says that it's a HDD. Uh, place and you should put your HDD, but it doesn't really matter. You can easily put your SSD as long as it is the same form factor and it has a 2.5 port. Um, as you can see, you should put, put them on the pins. It's again very easy, no screw required. You can do it at home. You don't need any technical knowledge. It's like solving a puzzle, easy peasy. Um, then you have to connect the cable and then put it back. 
uh, just here be careful sometimes uh, there is this blue things there you see there is at the end of the cable there's like this blue port um, sometimes it get disconnected you should connect it again and then you just put the whole thing back on the cover here I bought a one terabyte SSD the brand is crucial I will add the link on the description below um, but you can go with anything you want um, there also comes with different prices uh, I bought this one for 100 euro but I think you can buy one between like I don't know 80 bucks to 150 bucks some of them have a bit of better speed uh, I don't care that much about the speed of this drive because it's not my main one uh, the other one is more important so now we are done with the first part we put our SSD here and we are going to the back of the device where our RAM is and where the M2 SSD the main SSD card exists it also comes down very easily you just need to pull it out as you can see and you have a dual channel RAM slot you have two the slots for the RAM and on the right you see your M2 SSD drive just uh, one tip for you guys it is really nice to run on dual channel especially for these Ryzen GPUs uh, sorry Ryzen CPUs and uh, I would really recommend going for example for 2 8 gigabytes and, uh, instead of 1 16 gigabytes here I bought two 16 gigabyte crucial. Again, I will put the link on the description below. They are like usually nice and reliable. I always use this brand, but of course uh, you can use Samsung or anything else. Um, it comes actually with Samsung, um, the thing that the thing center that you buy, and it has eight gigabytes of RAM, at least the one that I bought. Uh, here I will show you how to change the M2 SSD card it comes out also very easily just be careful that uh, blue knob uh, don't break it uh, it's out of plastic uh, you can just push it a bit outside and boom it is out to, to be frank I didn't buy another one I think 256 is quite okay for me I don't I don't want to store that much data on the main drive so I'll just put it back, it was just for showing you guys how to do it. So this Think Center comes with three options. You can buy a Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7. I personally went with Ryzen 5 since it's, it's the best of both worlds. you know, it's not as high consumption as Ryzen 7 not as um, low low performance as Ryzen 3 something with between, between also the pricing is a bit, a bit better and uh, you can also choose RAM 8, 16, 32 but as you can see it's very easy to put your own it's a bit cheaper if you do it also uh, you have different options for SSDs we put the back panel we are going to put the front panel and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys uh, what, what is the config and the Windows software and how it runs. Um, if this video goes a bit of, get a bit of views, I will consider making a whole video for talking about this. Also, you can, of course, ask any question. I will, I will answer them in the comments. Let's go to the software side. Here I open Adobe, uh, some Adobe Lightroom, for example, here. You see it is very snappy, um, definitely does the job. I usually open three, four applications, Adobe Premiere, Lightroom, Photoshop, Unity 3D, sometimes IntelliJ and other programming languages, and it still does the job. So if you want it for office work, definitely is sufficient. Here you can even see that it runs 4K smoothly. I don't see any uh, drop in the frames and um, yeah I, I personally don't usually play at 4k I don't have the bandwidth uh, but it can do it for you even in YouTube as you can see the GPU usage the graphical usage is about 50% here uh, which is a bit high 
So I imagine if you leave it playing for a while, the f you, you will start to notice the fan noise. Uh, I will t try to run some benchmarks later in the, in the next video and I will show it to you. Yep. Another thing I want to show you is that if you go to the my PC properties, you can see um, the Ryzen 5 that I was talking about, the CPU, and also you can see um, the RAM, the 32 GB RAM that we installed on the system. Then um, there is one important thing when you install the new hard drive, you should go to the device manager, to the sorry, to the disk manager and make the new drive, otherwise you won't see it in your windows. Thanks a lot everyone for watching this video. I hope that you like and subscribe. It will definitely motivate me to make more videos out of this device. Um, thanks for watching, until next one. Bye.